What's up guys, Aaron Productions here, and today we are going to be making a new disassembled video. So if you couldn't tell what it was already, it's going to be a Spectra Alert Advance ceiling mount speaker strobe. I know I have the other ones, but it's going to be the same thing inside because um, if you guys don't know, these alarms, the internals are the exact same. It's just got a, a new front case on it. And this one's circular on the strobe. So first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is take off the back plate. Okay, now that I got this off, we'll just put that aside. And if we take a look at the back here, we have four screws. These are torque screws, so um, these take a T10. So all we're gonna do is unscrew it. I think that should be it. Oh, well, I guess that was the answer to that. Um, here you can see the shell. Now if I really wanted to, I could just take this and just shove it into a, um, a regular wall strobe too. So if we look at the casing itself, um, not much here. Just got all the holes in the front and the circular cavity where the strobe goes in along with the candela window. But that's what it looks like with nothing in it. Let's move that out of the way. And take a look at the module itself. It actually looks kind of cool with nothing on there. Here is our candela slider, which it's kind of hard to move in this front position because that's just an extension. And here is our strobe, our xenon flash tube. Let's take a look at the circuit board here. Here we have a capacitor here, um, transistor. I'm pretty sure those are capacitors, two capacitors there. The flash capacitor is right under here. Now, another thing is the magnet is kind of shielded here, so it's not gonna interfere with your wires too much. Um, and also won't get your screws stuck to it unless you're going from the top. Now, one cool thing is that it actually has a paper cone in the speaker, so, you know, not as trash as a um, plastic cone. I'm not sure if the outdoor version would have a plastic cone for the weatherproofness of it or Kevlar cone but that's going a little too far. So this is what the speaker sits up against. It's kind of interesting since you know it's blocking a lot of it especially the bottom part but um, this is basically just the module of a strobe placed onto here with the connectors um, the speaker terminals the this is the negative and these are the two positives that jumper together and it simply has this little trace that goes to these two little connectors that have the wires wrapped around them. Well, well there goes the reflector. This just pulls off because it has the two clips. One right here and then the other one is in the back right there. So no worries about that coming off. But we do get a closer look on the inside here. Here's our big flash capacitor. There's the tube. I don't want to touch it to get shocked. It's probably not charged. But um, here's that little thing that charges or I'm not sure what this thing is called. We have a few resistors, a capacitor right there, and then here's our inductor. So all you need to get this thing out is, well, first of all, you have to take off the strobe lens. It might make it easier. And then all you do is unbuckle this, or unclip this clip, whatever. And then there's also two clips on this side, on this side here, and then this side. And then there we go. Ah. And then here is our PCB. There's nothing on the back, of course, besides this serial number, date code, I'm not sure. Here is your candela slider. It just moves back and forth like this, creating connections on these little pads right here. These are connected with um, two metal strips on the back. There you can see right here, there's one of the connectors and the other one's on top, obviously. Now let's see if I can get the back plate off of the speaker part. Um, it should be just these clips right here. And now we are inside here. We could see our transformer. This would take the 100 volts, which it really just has the potential to get up to 100 or 70 volts. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this out of here. Yeah, it's got these little melt clips on it in the back. It's got these little melted clips. So I guess I'm not gonna be able to get it out. Here's a little inductor here. And then we have our transformer, and that's pretty much it for the speaker circuit. All it needs to do is convert the 100 or 70 volt, convert it down, and then it goes back to the speaker voltage. 
Now this speaker is obviously cheap. Look at it. It says made in China. It has no brand. But um, that's a look inside. We've pretty much gone over everything. That means it's time to put it back together. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed a look inside of the Sparkler Advanced SPSW. Peace out.